So this is my little contribution to Logic Fest 2020, and um, I probably picked the most boring topic of all uh, bookmarks, but we spend so much time each and every day setting up bookmarks, and I found that I really set up the same bookmarks time and again. So if we take a look at our typical folder structure, these ones will differ from each to every facility or to what you use on your remote machine. However, they all tend to be the same once they are set up. So every project has got its rushes folder, its edits folder, its renders folder, and so on and so on. And we tend to bookmark all the same places all the time. So usually, I once I do a conform, I find, okay, I need to go there again. I'll set a bookmark for my EDLs folder. Once I import the first stuff from Nuke, I'll set up a bookmark there. And I'll do all this time and again and again. Well, there has to be a smaller way to do this. Well, there is. And it utilizes tokens. Now, these tokens, tokens are around Flame everywhere now. But these tokens are not really integrated into the UI. So that's why nobody knows about them. But what we're going to do is we're going to use this root project name as a token for our bookmarks. So the only prerequisite for this to work is that we uh, use this as our project name in Flame. Okay, so let's take a look. We go into Flame and we set up zero, sorry, zero, zero, 0011 logic fest bookmarks so this is important that this name and this name are exactly the same if for whatever reason you have to give a different name to your flame project you can also use the nickname so just keep that in mind i'll mention it once we get to the other side of things so I'll leave all of these alone because this is really just for illustration purpose for you guys. So let's create this project and enter it. So the first thing I'll do is head over to the Media Hub, navigate to my Logic Fest project. This of course doesn't need to be a dummy project like our here. This could be a regular project. It doesn't matter when you start this process. So what I'll do now is just navigate to each place I want to bookmark set up a bookmark there, name it if I want to, add it, and go through this for each and every place I want to have as a regular bookmark. All right, now that's done. What we need to do is go to the bookmark manager here. And now you can see there are all these bookmarks we set up for the rushes, for the EDLs, for the shot publish, and so forth and th so forth. Now what we want to do is replace this part, our project name, with a token. So we don't have to do this one by one. We can bulk edit these. So just hit shift, mark all these, tap into any one of them, and now you delete that project name and just that, like that. And you use these little arrow brackets here that are used with all the tokens there and repla replace that with project. And as I said, if you d are not allowed or don't want to use Flame's project name, this would be the place if you would utilize the nickname of the project, you could put here project nickname okay but we are using the project in our example so like that you hit enter and now all these are changed to the token which once again to iterate that doesn't point to this project name but of course to the flame project name so now what we need to do right now these are located in our project folder and they are just visible inside this project so we need to move these. So if you're working at a big facility, you would might consider uh, sharing them. But for my purposes, I'll put them in the user folder. 
there they are. Of course, I could now further localize them by just putting them, for example, in places like setups or just for the media hub to be visible. And I could also, of course, generate a new folder to further divide them. And this actually makes sense once um, you got this whole token thing set up because now these will be visible in that same structure in each and every project on your flame. So to iterate this, let's close this up. This is still our logic first project and here are all our bookmarks. Now I've had a different project. I'll just pick this one. And now here, once again, are all our bookmarks. And if we would create a new project and just stick to the convention of naming either the project or the project nickname exactly like the project name on our file structure, then these bookmarks will th be there each and every time. So I hope this is a little time saver for you. I found it hugely helpful um, because now I'm ready to go from the start and don't have to look for places each and every time again. So I hope you have a great logic fest and uh, see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.